Subnormal Subnormal intelligence represents the most limited form of human cognitive function. People at this level may have an IQ below 70, often due to genetic conditions like Down syndrome, brain injury, or complications during development. They usually struggle with language, memory, and abstract thinking. Simple tasks like dressing, feeding, or understanding basic instructions may require assistance for life. Their experience of the world is immediate and sensory. They respond more to tone and touch than to logic or language. Emotional recognition can still be strong. They often sense kindness, fear, or frustration in others. While they may never live independently, many form deep emotional bonds and express joy, sadness, or connection in profound nonverbal ways. Modern society emphasizes care, respect, and inclusion over outdated or offensive labels. With love, structure, and support, people at this level can live meaningful lives within their capacity. Below Average Below average intelligence includes individuals who can function independently but tend to struggle with complex reasoning or abstract thinking. IQ scores typically range from 70 to 85. People in this group may find academic subjects like math, science, or grammar difficult, and they often learn better through repetition and hands-on activities than through theory or abstract instruction. They might work best in structured environments with clear routines, such as jobs involving manual labor, customer service, or caregiving. While they may lag behind in formal education, many have strong practical or interpersonal skills. Socially, they may be outgoing, loyal, and emotionally intuitive. This level of intelligence is often overlooked or underestimated, but with the right support, people here can live independently, raise families, and contribute meaningfully to their communities. They thrive when respected for what they can do, rather than judged for what they can't. Average Most people live here, and most think they don't. Average intelligence enables people to read, write, do math, follow rules, and hold conversations. You understand cause and effect, make plans, and learn from mistakes. It's the intelligence of routines, relationships, and basic problem solving. You grasp what needs to be done, and usually get it done. Teachers, drivers, small business owners, nurses, technicians, they're all here. The world doesn't run without average intelligence. It's balanced, functional, and enough to adapt. But here's the catch. This level feels like the end of growth. People here are often smart enough to think they understand everything, but not sharp enough to see their blind spots. They confuse being right with being informed, and they rarely ask deeper questions. Because life works the way it is, this level is stable, but also sticky. It traps the most people, not because they're incapable of growth, but because they never feel the need to try. Above Average Above average intelligence is where thought gets fast. You don't just learn, you leap. You spot patterns others miss. You see outcomes forming long before others even realize there's a problem. School may have felt slow, repetitive. Conversations sometimes feel like waiting in line. These minds do well in theoretical fields, math, coding, engineering, philosophy. They enjoy complexity, puzzles, systems. But there's a shadow to it. You see too much, too early. You might talk less because you're editing yourself mid-sentence. You might fake normalcy, just to keep the peace. This level breeds frustration, not because others are stupid, but because they're not fast enough to sink. And if you're not careful, high intelligence becomes high detachment. You float above the noise, but forget how to be human in it. High High intelligence typically refers to IQs between 130 and 145, about the top 2% of the population. People at this level don't just learn quickly, they often make intuitive leaps, seeing solutions before others even identify the problem. They excel at recognizing patterns, thinking abstractly, and mastering complex systems. In school, they might breeze through advanced material or teach themselves topics far beyond the curriculum. They often enjoy logic puzzles, deep discussions, and solitary research. Many are drawn to fields like theoretical science, software engineering, or philosophy, areas that reward abstract and strategic thinking. Emotionally, they may feel isolated or misunderstood, especially during youth, when their cognitive speed outpaces their emotional development. When supported, however, they become innovators and problem solvers who push boundaries. High intelligence isn't just being smart, it's being able to think in ways most people can't even imagine. Gifted. 
This is where exceptional ability begins to truly stand out, often marked by IQs above 145. But it's more than numbers. Gifted individuals process the world with rare speed, depth, and originality. From an early age, they may show strong memory, laser focus, and the ability to connect big ideas across different subjects. They might teach themselves piano, build machines from junk, or write novels before high school. They don't just solve problems, they reframe them. Their thinking can be unconventional, insightful, and years ahead of their age. But giftedness can come with challenges. Frustration with slow systems, isolation from peers, or intense emotions that are hard to manage. Their minds are fast, but so are their feelings. When supported, they become the innovators, creators, and deep thinkers who stretch the limits of human knowledge and imagination. Genius Genius intelligence isn't just about being smart, it's a different architecture. Geniuses don't just solve problems, they rebuild the logic beneath them. They don't master rules, they question why the rules exist. Think Einstein, think Ramanujan, think people whose brains don't just run faster, they run sideways. This level brings breakthroughs. Entire paradigms shift when these people speak. Science, philosophy, art, all get redefined. But genius doesn't feel like a gift to the person who holds it. It often feels like isolation at the speed of light. People can't keep up. Institutions can't accommodate. Even praise feels like a mistranslation. And most of the time, geniuses are punished before they're praised. Too radical. Too strange. Too soon. Polymath Polymaths are geniuses with range. While a typical genius might master one field, a polymath masters many. They might be inventors, writers, scientists, and artists, all in one lifetime. Historical examples include Leonardo da Vinci, who designed machines, painted masterpieces, and studied anatomy. Benjamin Franklin, who helped shape science, politics, and printing. What defines this level is a brain that doesn't just absorb knowledge, it synthesizes it across disciplines. Polymaths don't see subjects as separate. They find patterns linking math to music, or biology to philosophy. Their curiosity is endless, and their creativity thrives on variety. Polymath intelligence demands more than raw IQ. It requires time, discipline, and a deep love of learning. These individuals often work across decades, driven by questions no single field can answer. In a world that pushes specialization, polymaths remind us of the power of thinking broadly. Visionary People with visionary intelligence don't just understand the world, they imagine what it could become. Their intelligence is part genius, part foresight, and part courage. While a polymath masters many fields, a visionary sees beyond existing systems entirely. They introduce ideas that seem impossible, until they change everything. Visionaries connect the dots between science, society, and spirit. They see what others miss, then take the leap to build it. This level of intelligence often comes with risk. Visionaries challenge norms, face rejection, and endure doubt, but they persist, powered by belief and boldness. Their thinking shapes industries, movements, and history itself. Visionary intelligence isn't just about being smart, it's about using that brilliance to bend the future. Transcendent Transcendent intelligence is the highest level of all. At this point, intelligence stops being about answers, it becomes about awareness. These minds don't just connect dots, they question the dots themselves. They see through ego, through systems, through thought. They sense patterns in human nature, cycles in consciousness, illusions in identity. Think Buddha, Jung, Socrates, visionaries who didn't just know, they understood why we crave knowing. Transcendent intelligence isn't shiny, it's quiet, still, often mistaken for madness. Because it threatens everything we build our sense of self on, these people don't dominate, they dissolve, they guide without pushing. At this level, intelligence stops serving the self, it starts serving truth. I'll be making more videos like this soon. Subscribe to see them.